Why are you dancing? I wanted negative no. numbers. Multiplied and dividing, please, sir. Sorry about that. Sorry, I was just having my Friday ritual there. A little dance. Cheer me up. All right, then. Let's have a quick look, then. At multiplying and dividing negative numbers. We've got another Mr. Whole Math session coming at you. Subscribe. Leave a like below and all that sort of stuff. Right, we'll start with um, multiplying two positive numbers together. So we've got a positive six times positive three. We know the positive because there's no sign in front of them. So these ones are the sort of things you may have seen at primary school. Four times seven, and eight times nine, and your answer is always going to be a positive. And again, we don't need to write a plus in, in front because we know it's positive. The second ones is where we start to get a bit more interested. We've got a negative six times positive three. The way we try to have a look at this one is deal with the numbers first. So we know that 6 times 3 is 18. And we've got a negative and a positive. Signs are different, so your answer is going to be a negative. Same way to do this one. Deal with the numbers first. 4 times 7 28. We've got a positive and a negative. Again, signs are different, so we can make that negative. And again, same thing, deal with the numbers, 8 times 9, 72, we've got positive and a negative, so it's going to be minus 72, or negative 72. The next one, this is one we've got two negatives together, and this case, again, we deal with the numbers first, 6 times 3, 18, minus and a minus, the signs are the same, so your answer is positive. So we leave it as is. So I'm sure you can guess by now what's going to happen here. 4 times 7, 28, minus and a minus. It's a positive, so we leave it as it is. And I, do I even need to explain this one? 8 times 9, 72. And that's right, folks. Minus and a minus. Positive. So we leave it as it is. And then... If it'll work, there we go. We look at division. Don't panic. People panic. You must not panic. Stop. Stop there. We've got division. 20 divided by 5. Deal with the numbers first. How many 5's going to 20? 4. Now look at the signs. The signs are both negative. They're the same. So the answer stays positive. The next one. Deal with the numbers. 100 divided by 10. How many 10s going to 100? 10. The signs, negative, positive, different signs. So my answer is negative. Finally, 8 divided by 2. So how many 2s going to 8? That is 4. We've got a positive and a negative. So the answer is negative. And that's it. If we have a look at a little summary, we can see that if the signs are the same, the answer is going to be a positive answer. And if the signs are different, you know it, the answer is going to be negative. And that's it. That's it in total. And that's it from me, Mr. Holt. Keep it real. Like, subscribe. Keep enjoying maths. I'll see you later. Peace, bye.